can you consent to sexual acts if there's money involved? Let's review the Fry's model of consent. Consent has to be freely given, reversible, informed, enthusiastic, and specific. Freely given is probably the key that we're going to be talking about when we're talking about money and consent. If someone is doing this to pay their bills, are they really going to be able to consent if the director or producer says, well, for example, this extreme bondage scenario where we're going to whip you if you want to get paid? And maybe previously or in their regular life, that person would not consent to bondage and whipping, but because their rent is due and they're going to be evicted, if they do not do it, then they feel like they have to do it in order to pay their bills. And that's not really consent, is it? That is having something, a threat of something else, bad happening if they do not choose to do the act. If someone feels like their only choice is homelessness or losing their kids or performing a sexual act, is that a choice at all? And of course people are gonna be like, well, then they shouldn't have gotten into the industry. Nobody goes into the industry thinking that they're going to be groomed and abused. They think they're going in of their own choice, but things get crazier and crazier the further along they get in the path. That's kind of how grooming works. If you want to learn more about this, I would encourage you to check out Aaron Crawley's work. He was a performer in the adult entertainment industry who wound up being victimized by his directors and producers and he did eventually escape the industry and he talks about how you cannot consent when there's money involved. So there's really no such thing as ethical pornography. Go make good choices.